this is going to be a fairly rambly video about YouTube and community and role models. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while now, but this specific video was actually spurred on by something that happened on Twitter this morning. Basically, Harry Hope Fletcher was recently in a video with, on the 401 show, which is done by the BBC, and they were talking about relationships. And one of the questions she was asked was, um, how to respond to being pressured into having sex or sending explicit images or just generally doing things that you're not comfortable with and her response to that was it's about having the confidence and the self-esteem and the self-respect to say I don't want this I don't want to do this now encouraging girls to feel comfortable in setting up boundaries and saying a hard no is something that is good and should be encouraged but I as did other people, which we'll get onto later, had issues with using the words self-respect because it's suggesting that girls who didn't feel comfortable, who weren't able to withstand what would have been a huge amount of pressure to say no, don't respect themselves, which I think is just completely unfair. And it's also putting the blame on the victim in the situation rather than someone who shouldn't be pressuring um, a person into having sex in the first place. This was pointed out by Lex this morning on Twitter, also by Potamoosh and Ticken and Rosie Anna. There was essentially a back and forth between Carrie saying that she meant well, she didn't mean how it came across, and she eventually did apologise. And also, mainly Lex and also the other YouTubers I mentioned saying, well, you might have meant well, but this is how it's been interpreted by people who actually have been abused, and they feel like you're blaming them. I could make a whole video on boundaries and language you use in telling girls how to assert their boundaries but this is going to be more about how quite a few people felt like Carrie was just being attacked. For example Lex was actually called a bully which I think is a really unfair accusation saying I disagree with you and this is why is not bullying someone but it felt like a lot of the people who were supporting Carrie were just blindly supporting her. We are in a setup on YouTube where we do have different communities and we have various leaders in groups. We often talk about the YouTube community, but that's that there isn't such thing a such thing as just one the YouTube community. There are just so many different YouTubers now. And some of these different communities have names, like you've got Nerd Vitaria, which you could argue that Nerd Pytera isn't really set up as like focusing around John and Hank, but that is the way a lot of people do treat it. You've also got even communities like Splinkerinos, people who watch Splink Sprinkle rather of Glitter, that's the name that they have, and also the Hopefuls, which I mentioned before. I think it's natural to want to look up to someone, especially if you are young. From what I've seen of the Hopefuls, most of them are young teenage girls. But there is a problem in looking up to someone in the sense that everyone makes mistakes, no one's infallible, and having this protective sense that when you're someone, the person you look up to is being criticised and your first instinct is to attack and think, oh, they can't possibly be wrong, that's something that's dangerous. And also, the flip side of communities, they can also, that communities can be places of support, which is great, but on the other hand, if you spend most of your time in just one community online and you're surrounded by people who tend to just think the same way, you just, you become even more certain in that view. And when you find someone on the outside who disagrees with you, again, the instinct is to just attack them rather than to just like listen. And also just thinking criti critically about what's being said. Also another danger of seeing role models as more than human or seeing them yourself as not equal to them, seeing them as above you, is not feeling empowered yourself to actually think about your own beliefs and take your own actions rather than just following someone else. Obviously it's easy for me to just say don't idolise people because I'm in my late teens now, but it's something that I definitely did do in my early teens and I could even like kind of attack my own argument by saying well I first really heard the message of like nobody's perfect and people make mistakes was from Hank and John. I guess my main point is whoever you're old or is a human being they might make mistakes so it's okay to disagree with them and you are 
you're actually equal to them you have the potential to be just as amazing as you think they are that is something that you yourself can do they are not inherently worth more than you and I guess the question I kind of have is is it possible to like be an early teen and skip out that whole stage of idolizing the people that you do look up to